Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone. So today I got Xiaomi Mi A3 and uh, I have flashed the Afterlife Project ROM on the Mi A3. A good ROM. Those who want to try new ROM, I must uh, suggest that uh, try this ROM. Good ROM. Uh, day for daily use, you can use this ROM. The things that are working are P-O-L-T-E, incoming and outgoing calls, the fingerprint scanner, the face unlocking and uh, incoming outgoing SMS and we have to root the ROM to get the device certified and uh, rest all things are very working perfectly. After flashing the ROM, I check that the default dialer that comes in the ROM not working properly. So what I did, I uh, installed the Google dialer from the Play Store and then making it default the google dialer is working absolutely fine with the rom so after flashing you must download the google dialer to get avoid any issues with the default dialer there is no default camera application installed in with the rom so we have to install the third party camera application like i have installed the open camera which is working very good and excellent so the the rom is good and we are getting a new interface of the control center you can see that check it out and also that if i go to the settings then the setting interface is also change let me go to the about phone to show that this is the afterlife project and the rom android version is android 13. how to flash this rom you need to have an unlock bootloader of your mobile phone in case if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader then must check the tutorial video link provided in video description unlock the bootloader and then you can follow the further steps to get this from on your mi a3 and your bootloader will be remain unlocked as far you are using this custom rom you must save all the internal storage data this uh, method will format everything and also check the mobile phone battery must be charged to maximum in case if you are using account of any account like google account then must sync your google account once and remove it select the screen lock as a swipe to turn off the security uh, now if you have done all these things now the, the most important thing is that in case if your mobile Mi A3 still is on Android 10, then there is no need to flash this ROM because this ROM will work if the Mi A3 is updated to Android 11. And one more thing, in case if your mobile phone is having converted MIUI ROM, then do not try to flash this ROM directly. You need to go back to the stock Android 11, then you can flash the ROM. And those who, who Mi A3 is already updated to Android 11 and uh, currently having any custom ROM, any EAOSP ROM uh, like Android 12, 13, 14, you can directly flash the Afterlife Project ROM Android 13 on your mobile phone. Now simply power of the mobile phone, I will move towards the computer screen. These are the files that we have to download and all the links are provided in my video description. This is the rom file the official ported rom afterlife version 6.0 for the mi a3 the custom recovery file the routing file the platform tool file play integrity fix file and super empty image file first of all extract the platform tools folder then copy the rom file custom recovery file re uh, routing file and the super empty image file rom file custom rom custom recovery file routing file and the super empty image file copy from the here then open the extracted folder of the platform tools and paste all the those files over here when done then we have to rename the files like uh, select the rom file press f2 then simply type rom press enter key and then uh, rename the routing file select the file press f2 and type r double o t and we have to erase the extension also uh, erase the apk and type z i p and press enter key and on this window click yes the routing file also got renamed from magis.apk to root.zip now on the cmd file right click then uh, left 
run as administrator now click yes on next window the command window will get open these are the commands that are all provided in the video description you can simply copy the commands from here and paste it to the command window for easy installation the rom right now we'll go back to the command window and now moving back towards the mobile phone now we need a data cable use a good quality of data cable and check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer now if the mobile phone boot loader is unlocked and if the mobile phone is power off totally power off then press and hold the volume down key connect the cable with the mobile phone in few seconds the mobile phone will boot into fast boot mode then immediately release the volume down key mobile phone booted into fast boot mode connected already with the computer and the cable will be connected in the whole procedure now coming back towards the computer screen uh, go to the video description and copy the first command first boot get var current slot copy this command from here and go back to the command window press ctrl v and we can see that the current slot is a in case if you see your current slot is b then you b then you can simply flash the custom recovery but in case if the current slot is a and it must be then we have to change the current slot from from a to b come down to the video description copy the second command set active b from here and go to the command window press ctrl v so the slot got changed come down again select the this command fast boot reboot bootloader go back to the command window press ctrl plus v and the mobile phone will reboot it into bootloader again here we go we have to go back to the uh, the command where i have provided the commands so copy the Fast boot, flash boot, boot Ryan image from the video description. Go to the command window, press Ctrl V to flash the uh, recovery on the mobile phone. Done. Come down once again. Uh, copy the fast boot wipe super super empty image from the description and then go to the uh, command window, press Ctrl V to flash this one also. Now, uh, once again. Copy the fast boot reboot command from the description. Go back to the uh, command window. Press Ctrl V, but immediately we have to press the and uh, press and hold the volume up key to let the set boot into custom recovery. So press Ctrl V, set reboot it immediately. Press and hold the volume up key. The set will boot into custom recovery. Then immediately release the volume up key when after you see the custom recovery on the mobile phone. Now on this recovery screen, tap factory reset, format data, factory reset, format data, done. Now go back to the main screen, tap apply update and tap apply from ADB. Now the mobile phone is booted into side load mode. Once again, coming back to the computer screen, now we have to flash the ROM. So here I will type the command ADB space side load space rom dot set ip press enter key and the rom file will start it transferring to the mobile phone and at the same time it is getting installed also now here it will take a time we have to wait so the rom got installed perfectly and now we have to reboot the recovery for that go back to main screen tap advance and tap reboot to recovery because the recovery is changed now so this is the recovery now now we have to root the mobile phone in case if you do not want to root then simply reboot tap reboot system now so the mobile phone will reboot and will start booting to ROM. but in case if you want to make the device certified then you need to root the mobile phone for, the, for routing the mobile phone on this recovery tap install update tap adb site load coming back towards the computer screen and typing the command for uh, transferring the routing file adb space site load space 
rwot.zip press enter key and the routing file started transferring at the same time it is also getting installed install completed with status 0 which means that flushing done now simply reboot to system tap reboot to system the mobile phone will start booting to android 13 rom after live project it will take a little time we have to wait on the computer screen i will close the command window and i will close this window also and i will wait in my downloaded folder because we have to install the magis application and also we have to copy the play integrity fix file so finally first boot completed complete the setup screen so we got the rom flash very perfectly i will go to about phone first let me turn off the dark screen you can see that android version 13 device me a3 after live project now we have to install the root file scroll down the notification bar tap android system because the cable is already connected tap again and tap with charging this device via usb and selecting the file transfer the uh, internal storage will pop up on the command uh, on the computer window uh, computer screen we'll go to downloaded folder and we'll copy the images file and the play integrity fix file from the downloaded folder and we'll copy that for the both files in my uh, mobile phone internal storage so we got the files copied on the internal storage now computer works done and disconnect the cable from the mobile phone now we'll go to menu then we'll open the files and install the magis application then go back go to menu open the magis application by tapping the icon tap allow here you can uh, read first read that your device needs additional setup or for magis to work properly do you want to proceed and reboot yes tap ok maybe this will come like after installing the magis application only for the first time and it will not come again but one more thing will come will show you later let the set boot then i will continue unlocking the screen we'll go to menu tap magis application to open it making the brightness a little bit low so we can see the screen now on this magis application every time when we open the magis application it will say your device needs reflash magis no just tap cancel every time now first tap settings and scroll down turn on the zygis here then go back tap modules then install from storage and then tap recent select me a3 scroll down select the play integrity fix file then tap ok to install it and when it is done then tap reboot now mobile phone will reboot once again unlocking the screen we'll go to menu open magis application once again to just check the integrity file is okay tap cancel go to modules yes there is no red lines means that if module is working very perfectly okay now we'll go back and we'll go to settings we have to do one more thing and that is connect the mobile phone with uh, the internet log in your gmail account and when you after logging your gmail account then you have to do to go to settings then tap apps and then tap see all apps and tap search tap search search for p l a y select google play store first then tap storage and cache clear storage delete done go back go back and search once again p l a y select this time play services then tap storage and cache and manage space and tap delete done now we are done from everything if you open the google play store when the play store gets updated you will see that device is certified and after that you can download the root and safety net checker check your root status you will see the mobile phone will show rooted and check the safety net you will see that it will show past and everything is past as i mentioned before that download the google dialer and make it default do not use this one maybe you will have issues with the default dialer and simply you can download the third party camera application any like the one you like the rom is good you will love it so 
do not forget to subscribe my channel do not forget to like the video thank you so much we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye